Hey YouTube, Pokenerd313 here, and uh, this is my first vid on my Pokenerd313 account, my main account, which is no longer my main account, uh, Brignut555. If you are a subscriber and you are watching this, please subscribe to this one. I'm going to delete the other one because for some reason ever since um, YouTube was bought by Google, I've had nothing but problems, so I'm switching over to this account. And this account will be all about Pokemon. I'll do uh, hopefully more like deck lists, uh, pack openings, uh, tournaments, deck testings, uh, contests. Uh, do even a uh, game walkthrough stuff like that. Um, I'll even talk about the. I was probably maybe depending on if I like it or not talk about the latest Pokemon episode, do once a week show like that, but whatever. So my first deck list on my on this account is a Megazord. So let's get started. You have three Young Mega Primes and four Yanmas. Two Magaz Magnazones. A uh, Magneton, two Magnemite, two Zorark, two Zora, one Absol, one Porygon. Ah, uh, this attack is really good. Uh, conversion one, the defending Pokemon, has a weakness. You may change it to anything, any type besides colorless, and that's for one colorless energy. One Tyrogue, Celio's Network, Revive, Profess Professor Oak's Visit, Interviewer's Questions, Bill's Maintenance, Two Energy Retrievals. Now we're sort of getting into staples of the Magna, uh, Yon Mega decks. Copycat, two of them. Two energy search. Three Professor Oak's new theory. Four Pokemon communication. Two junk arm. Three judge staple for any mag uh, Yon Mega Prime deck. And three rare candy. And then we have. Three, four, five electric energies. Five grass energies. One special darkness. And four darkness. So yeah, that's the deck list. Uh, pretty good. I tested it out. Uh, we have at my school uh, game club and this is pretty much all we play is Pokemon we help uh, do tournaments in the club and this deck came first and you're probably thinking oh well that's nothing you just did that at school well actually it kind of is because the well, one of the members there uh, came in I think third or fourth at Worlds so that is something. I ended up beating him. So, uh, yeah. So he's actually really good, and I didn't think this deck would come close to him. But it actually did really well. He couldn't keep up with it. I uh, just spammed the field. I uh, beat him one turn twice, because we do a uh, best two out of three in our tournaments. And so he only started out with one basic because that's what his deck mainly starts out with. Uh, it took him a while before he could get one because he draws a lot. I had to I got to draw quite a few cards, which it was uh, good and bad. Bad because it uh, lowered my deck quite a bit, but it's uh, good because it set me up really good to get um, Yun Mega Prime out first turn and uh, just attack with. Uh, first turn right off the bat. Uh, and I'm going to quickly go over the uh, 
how to do the deck. That's why I'm setting this back up. I'm going to show you guys the strategy to this. And so, yeah. Um, I've seen a few variations of this online and on uh, YouTube and stuff. But uh, as far as they go, I don't know. I have not used them. I do not. I did not make them. I prefer to be creative and make my own deck and do variations. Uh, you're probably saying, uh, well, if you do your own decks, then why are you making something so common? Well, because it's good. If it wasn't good, I wouldn't be using it. And sometimes the most used end up being bad, but in this case, it's actually good. Alright. So, let me just go over quickly on Mega Prime. Uh, for his bug body it's inside, it allows you to attack if you and your opponent have the same amount of cards in your hand. You can attack with uh, no energy, which that's really good. So, and then Yanma, his free flight, allows you to uh, uh, retreat for nothing if he has no energies attached to him. Magnazone, it's a uh, magnetic draw. You once per turn before you attack, you draw six. Or draw until you have six in your hand. It's good. And then Lost Zone does, uh, it's right here Lost Zone, or Lost Burn. Uh, does 50 damage for each energy you discard to the Lost Zone, and it requires one colorless and one electric. So that's why I run the electrics in this deck. Uh, nothing too special about Magnemites and Magnetons. Zorar, good, uh, deck spammer with fury swipes especially if you equip the special darkness energy he has a potential to do 90 with the darkness energy but without he has a potential to do 60 for one darkness energy so that's good it's a good spammer and then Zora not nothing too special Absol great for baleful wind I choose a card from my opponent's hand to discard it and if it's a trainer supporter item anything like that I pick another and discard it and that's for one colorless. So uh, we went over Porygon. Uh, his uh, sweet sleeping face. He goes to sleep when he attack, or he takes no battle damage when he's uh, asleep. And for no energy, you can do thirty, and he goes to sleep. So yeah, great spam. Uh, revive card brings back basic from discard. Seal his network. Search out a Pokemon, any kind. Ah, uh, interviews questions. Everybody knows that staple. Ah, uh, Professor X visit. Ah, uh, staple. Bill's maintenance. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this. Uh, you shuffle one in your deck and draw three. Everybody knows ah uh, energy retrieval. Copycat staples. Ah, uh, energy search staple. Professor X new theory staple. Pokemon Communication, somewhat of a staple. It's starting to make its way into pretty much every deck now. Uh, now, Junk Arm, not too much of a staple, but it brings back like rare candies and uh, Pokemon Communication, stuff like that. Three Judge, uh, both shuffle your deck, shuffle your cards into your deck and draw four. Sh or shuffle your hand, I mean. Three Rare Candies, be, uh, staple. And then your energy. And then uh, for the special darkness energy, it does an additional 10 damage for its attacks when it's equipped. And they stack up, so you could have uh, end up have 3 and do an extra 30 damage. So yeah, that's my deck. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. I want to know what you think. Uh, so just let me know what you think in the description. I'll have the list for it. So yeah, this is Pokemon Nerd 313. See you next time.